All right, so this Knife Thoughts video is going to be a review of this knife. And as you can see, this is a Civivi knife. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at the knife itself. And this is the Civivi Wyvern. So a wyvern is a winged two-legged dragon, typically with a barbed tail. Um, so basically just a type of a dragon and, you know, kind of widely uh, seen in different kinds of, you know, myths and legends and fantasy, you know, tales and things like that. And this is a knife that I have wanted for a long time, um, ever since seeing it, seeing it coming out. And... Um, I got it as part of a Black Friday sale. It was um, a little bit of a discount. Uh, they're typically about $50. I got it for about $43, and it came with this pocket tool also. Um, so flight tag thing here and a bottle opener or pry bar pocket tool. But they typically come with this uh, zipper pouch that you saw at the beginning and um, some uh, stickers and then they come with a nice uh, microfiber cloth also and this is a knife that has some features that I really like so first of all it's pretty close to the size that I typically like the blade is about 3.45 inches and I generally like 3.3 um, at least to you know four inches something like that generally 3.5 to four inch blades um, it has d2 tool steel which is a steel that i'm pretty familiar with it is a steel that i you know can sharpen easily and um, i think is a pretty good steel for this price point it has uh, injection molded plastic handles or um, fiberglass reinforced i forget exactly what they call it um, but basically it's a, it's like frn or something like that and I actually like that type of handle. I know some people don't, um, but I do like it. Talk about this um, pattern on it in a bit. And it is a flipper knife with ball bearings, but it can also be opened with this hole in the blade here. Um, so some good features, some things that I like, uh, and in particular, I thought it looked like it would be a great kind of just utility design. Um, so a lot of you who've seen a lot of my videos probably know that I like simple handle shapes. Simple handle shapes tend to lend themselves to good ergonomics. And this is a nice simple handle shape here. It has some guard with the flipper um, and then it has a little bit of a thumb ramp, but a nice simple handle shape and it, you know, held true. This is a, a good feeling knife in the hand, good ergonomics, and um, even in, in use, it, you know, is comfortable. You can get a good grip on it and, uh, you know, use it with ease. The blade shape also is a pretty classic drop point. Now, it has some features like this fuller or whatever you'd call this here, some swedging on the top, and then a little bit of a finger choil also. Um, but it's a pretty classic drop point blade shape with some belly, a good usable tip, and then some straight edge. And um, I found this to be a really nicely ground um, blade, and I hope you'll be able to see this here, um, but it is nice and thinly ground, uh, so it does slice pretty well. My version has a coating, um, but they don't all have a coating. You can get them with or without. Uh, D2 is a tool steel. It's not a stainless steel, although it's relatively close. Um, so I thought that the uh, coating was something that I would enjoy. And I think it looks good uh, with the black hardware also, but it can help with some uh, corrosion resistance. Um, speaking of the hardware, it has black uh, screws, pivot, and clip. And the screws are only on one side, so they go through there, um, through the backspacer and into the other side. Um, it has a single-sided pivot here. Um, so you only adjust one side and it came very well adjusted. Um, like I said, it has ball bearings, came extremely smooth. It flips extremely snappily. Um, you can use really either a light switch style or a 
push button style. Um, and then like I said, you can also use this uh, hole as an opening method if you would prefer. But you can see that it's drop closed and I haven't had to adjust this at all. It came very smooth like this and um, pretty much perfectly centered and no blade play. Even when unlocked, there's no side to side blade play and it does lock up pretty well there. So just really nicely made, and that fits with what I've seen from uh, other knives from Civivi, or in particular, we. And Civivi Knives is kind of the budget um, line of knives made by the same manufacturer and under the same brand, uh, or I guess overall um, umbrella company, as Wii Knives. So this is the Wii Banter, and um, this is one that uh, was given to me for review, and it's also a very, very nice knife, very well made, um, and super smooth, you know, nicely ground, nice and thinly ground, same type of coating, so if you have one of these coated Wii Banters, you can expect the same type of coating from the Wyvern, and... Here is another Wii made knife. Now this one has some uh, different features with the titanium handle, um, but it is a um, Wii Mass Drop Ray Laconico Keen. And um, I've had really good experiences with these Wii made knives so far. And I wanted to try a CVV knife because I've heard a lot of people say that they have the same high quality construction, but at a better price. And at $50, it's a, you know, half the price of the banter and a third the price of the Keen. Um, and honestly, it's made pretty similarly. I, I, you know, the, the big differences are the blade steel is not quite as good. The other two are S35VN. This is D2, and the handle material is a little lower end with the injection molded plastic versus G10 and titanium. But like I said, I enjoy these injection molded handles, and in particular, I like this pattern. So I like it when a company does a unique pattern. So a good example of that is Spyderco's bi-directional texturing. It works really, really well. It's a little bit less you know, unique and good looking than the um, dragon scale pattern here on the Wyvern. Um, but another company that has done that is Benchmade with their checkered pattern on the Griptilian. And as a real quick size comparison, I'll show you the Griptilian compared to the Wyvern and the Endora. So the Endora is a good bit longer and also a little taller. Um, the blades are similar in, in height, but the Endora is a little taller and a little longer. And then to give you a comparison to the Griptilian, the Griptilian is a chunkier knife for sure, um, but similar in length and similar also in blade length. Um, so I do like this dragon scale handle. I like it, like I said, when companies do these unique um, patterns on the injection molded plastic handles. And I think it works well. It gives you a little bit of extra grip, but not too much to where it you know, eats up the pocket or anything like that. It's easy to get this knife in and out of the pocket with this nicely done um, pocket clip. And I, I really like it. Um, I would carry this uh, solidly for a while after getting it, and um, I enjoyed it. It cut well, you know, cut cardboard well, um, used it for some food prep, and uh, it just seems like a really good knife. And honestly, it makes me want more Civivi knives. Uh, I have, uh, I've had some people ask for some modern slip joint reviews, and Civivi has some modern slip joints, so um, I might get some of their modern slip joints, or at least one, and uh, do a review of that. But every Wii or Civivi made knife I've had has been a really nicely made knife. So if they have a design you like, I would say, you know, I've had, including this one, either four or five now, um, and... I think that, you know, they're making nice knives. So uh, I don't mind the, the country manufacturer. I think that, you know, it has 
you know, certainly it's something that a lot of people consider, but for me, um, if it's a reputable company, it's not a huge deal. And uh, I think this is a nice knife and I'm probably gonna be getting more Civivi knives in the future. So if you like this design, I you know suggest checking it out. I think it's a good deal at fifty dollars. If you can get it, you know, on discount like I did, great deal. So if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it, subscribe to my channel because I've got lots more videos like this, and hit the bell for notifications so you know when I post other videos. You can also check out my social media, all at Knife Thoughts, and my website knifethoughts.com where I post articles on knives like this and knife related topics. And last but not least, as always, don't forget to go out and do good.